All right, everybody, so I figured I'm gonna do it, so I might as well show you guys real quick how to do it. So we're gonna set up a ROM Raider logger um, for whatever vehicle you're currently logging. Um, so the first thing you wanna do is go ahead and open up ROM Raider, and we can close these out. These are from the last video and will not be used. Um, so what we're gonna do is go ahead and click on Launch Logger, wait for it to open, and then, so now that it's open, the next thing that we're gonna do is put the key in the ignition if you have your tax cable already hooked up and it is connected to your laptop. Turn your key to the on position. And it should connect. See, there we go. So we're gonna go ahead and um, go through these real quick and select the ones that I want. You may want something different. Um, these, I believe, are showing up off of my, yeah, FXT2021. So this is from when I set up my Forester uh, last week. Um, I like to use air fuel correction number one, air fuel learning number one, air fuel sensor number one. Um, also, closed loop, open loop fueling. That is extremely important to know between closed loop and open loop fueling changes. Uh, you need that to decipher the actual learning amounts here. Um, and then we're going to scroll down the list. Coolant temp is already uh, selected. Um, engine load, even though I'm running speed density, there are a few tables that run off of load. Obviously, engine speed. Um, I'm going to select ethanol content as this is a new motor. But right now I am running, my gauge says 49%. Um, I'm not sure what this is going to show. It's probably slightly off. Yeah, 50%, so 1% off. Not a big deal. Um, also going to go ahead and select feedback not correction, find knock learning. Um, final fueling base is important. Some people choose to select IAM or DAM depending on which one you're logging. If you're not seeing major amounts of feedback not correction or find knock learning, your 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 IAM or your um, your DAM is not changing, so it is not that important. Injector duty cycle intake air temperature um, I'm also going to keep scrolling down manifold absolute pressure um, and I use direct on both of these actually on Carberry uh, the reason why is um, uh, the normal relative pressure the one that I just unselected they actually that actually stops at 18.4 psi for some reason uh, so i always select um the corrected one i am also logging mass airflow sensor voltage here that is not because i'm running a mass airflow sensor but my wide band is actually connected to it um and here it is it's sitting at 4.48 and sure enough my gauge over here has four dashed lines saying that we're extremely lean so that makes sense um Otherwise, I think that's it. Throttle opening angle. And that's all I really need. Um, I will probably add these two in as well, just because uh, this is a new EC or a new uh, a new um, engine. I, I won't be getting hard on it on this drive. I, I still got to break in my clutch. Um, the one I'm looking for, though, is boost error. It's probably under target. Yeah, so we can just select target boost, and then you can actually uh, verify that against manifold relative pressure direct versus target boost, and that'll give you your boost error. Then also see these just to see what's going on. Otherwise, that is it. So what we're going to go up here to do is file and save profile as, and I make them super simple, um, wrx2021.xml. Save. Perfect. Now, the last thing you want to do is, I always do it before I even start the car, is uh, uh, I minimize this down, and I actually start the file log and start the car. That's it, you guys. See you guys on the next video. Hope this helps some of you. Uh, as always, if you have any questions, uh, uh, go ahead and hit me up on Facebook, YouTube, Instagram. Later.